Hello everybody, welcome to Music and Beyond. I'm Ernie Crazy Eyes from Recall Productions. Uh, today I have a, two very special guests from the Van Hazen from Arizona, right? Yeah, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. I love I love Arizona even though I've never been there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we love it. other than the heat, we love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I mean you guys are you guys have been here in the valley for like a day, so yeah. Like, I'm sure it's just like home. Yeah, but it's just way more humid here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. You know, it's that it's thing. So it's lucky. a dry heat. Yeah. I, I, I got I got here to the venue at 3, 3.30, and I'm just like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> when we pulled in, it was steaming. Like, even just changing, we just, our body, we'll adjust to it. We still yeah. have a few more days in Texas, so we'll yeah. adjust to it. And then we go way up north. So yeah, cool I'm, I'm going to try to go to the Austin show, too. Uh, the last band that I interviewed, I was like, you know, hey, if you guys need help, let me know. I'll fucking love to ride with you yeah, guys. That's awesome. Yeah. And plus, I love Falling Through April, so. Yeah, they're awesome. They're super, super, super sick people, and this tour is way overdue. Yeah. Uh, we've actually started planning this tour last year. Oh, really? Yeah, right before the COVID spike again. Yeah. Um, and then everything it didn't shut down, but at that point we hadn't had COVID yet. Yeah. So we kind of just like. Did you guys get it? The tour. No. I I got it. Oh, you got. Yeah, me I got too. it the day before Thanksgiving. Oh no. Yeah. No. I have no idea how I didn't get it. I was with you that day. I know. Yeah, I had Friendsgiving at my house. Oh, Friendsgiving. And she, yeah, and she was there. And Damn. No one got sick but me. I contacted everyone the next day, and I was like, "Sorry, guys." But yeah, I went to I went to therapy a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Whenever I got it, I can't remember when I, I think it was August. You know what? It was August. Yeah. Uh, I got COVID and I was just like, damn, like, I guess I'm not one of the lucky ones. <laughs> I, 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 I used to call COVID the, the rich people disease. Oh, until, yeah. Uh, until I got it, I'm like, whoa, it's bullshit now. <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of a good Thanksgiving, though. I got to watch the Raiders in peace by myself. Oh, there you go. That True. Football game. So, you're, so that. you're a Raiders fan? I'm a huge Raiders fan. I'm a, I'm a Patriots fan. Oh, okay, oh, well, man. this interview's over. Thank <laughs> you so much for Wait, come back. <laughs> I, I promise I'm not a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, one more it. chance, man. That's actually so crazy because uh, Kayla actually turned me into... This is Robbie, by the way. I'm the bass player for Hazen. Kayla. Kayla. This is Kayla, the lead singer. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> they can't hear you. But it's so funny because Kayla actually got me. She's so like calm, cool, collected until yeah. she gets on stage. The only other time she's that rowdy is literally when we're watching football. And and, and, and you know what? Like I've been paying attention to you guys, of course, right now, and for a minute I thought you were the singer because you were a little bit more like. Uh, I, everyone. And like gets that. Yeah, everyone so, gets that. She's definitely more out there than me. I'm so, more yeah, so now I'm, I'm kind of excited to, you know, hear what she brings to. Yeah. I mean, of course, I know because I heard it on um, the music and stuff, mm -hmm. but like live, it's so different. It's different, of course. Well, we're about to bring it. So. <laughs> I go. know. This venue is kind of sick. I like it. It's unique. What's, yeah. What's the name of this? The Kraken. The right? Kraken. The Kraken. Kraken. Well, the yeah. Kraken, yeah. This place is. Yeah, I think it's pretty sick. It just reminds me of like old punk shows that I would go to. Yeah, in, like my little small town. Yeah, so, I don't know. Sure. That was cool. Me and Kayla were just kicking it out here. Like, this is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> like, this place hey, cool. before you guys leave, though, you guys should try like some real authentic Mexican food. Uh, I mean, I want to so bad. I know. Well, we're stopping in San Antonio tomorrow, but I know That's, it's like sorry. it's right here. No, don't worry about it. I, I love. Put nicotine in my face. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're all out. Uh, since we're all out. Since we're all Yeah. I did it all for the nicotine. No. <laughs> oh, literally. Oh. Uh, and you know what's crazy? The interview hasn't even started, so we should probably go to the first question. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I, I love it. I love it though. Like you know, it's, it's been good. Uh, but um, what was what was the inspiration for you guys to come in together as a band and? you know like play the music that you guys play you know what was that one band or well i'm gonna let kayla answer this because i'm new to the band and oh, really? this, this is kayla's thing for sure. <laughs> yeah um so i you know growing up i always like definitely wanted to be a musician i just wasn't sure i li like listened to a lot of pop and stuff like that and the band that really like pushed me to want to do this genre and then i just totally fell in love with 
uh, in this moment. Oh, okay. For sure, that, that definitely inspired me because I didn't even know there was like a lot of females in rock. Like I didn't There's think actually... it was like Paramore and Evanescence. Oh, yeah. and someone showed me in this moment. I was like, <sighs> mind blown. Plus, it's newer rock. It's newer female rock. Like what she does with her voice, like that. <sighs> yeah. I'm just She's like, incredible. what the hell? Oh, yeah. The great live show too. Incredible. Yeah, she's just but like yeah. super powerful. Even like uh, you know, Dylan, our guitarist. You know, after he heard in this moment, it's kind of funny because they did kind of bring us together in the beginning. He's like, he heard them, and he's like, I was auditioning male singers, but after hearing them, like, oh, so let's open our mind to female singers. Female, so yeah. That's kind of how we got together. Yeah. That's awesome, man. You know, I really dig y'all's music because you know it kind of like it makes me happy. You know, just listening to female vocalists. Because there's, in my opinion, I feel like there's not enough. And whenever, like, the Super Bowl halftime, it's like, hey, guys, Eminem and Dr. Dre, like, you know, like, where the hell is the women, you know, representative, like? Well, don't f- sprinkled in there. Yeah, now. it's it's definitely hard. Uh, one thing, I mean, I've been a, a musician my, you know, my whole life being in bands, and it's definitely gotten better mm-hmm. for sure uh when it comes to people like respecting you it's about yeah. respect at the end of it so it's gotten a lot better but we still have strides to go for sure we're very del- lucky to have kayla as the vocalist though very very lucky that's awesome and i really can't wait for you guys to kill it tonight because i need music <laughs> yeah i can't wait yeah, to show you what we sure. got <laughs> i just wanted to say also real quick um, in a sense, it has gotten better too. Like when we first started, I think, like a lot. I mean, it still happens, but like a lot of dudes will be like, "What are these chicks doing here?" Yeah. Oh no. And then we kill it on stage, and they're like, "Oh, you guys are amazing! Wasn't expecting that." It's like just because you see a girl doesn't mean they're not yeah. kick ass. Yeah. When when did you know that this band was gonna work? Like you know. Here's the tall tale sign is that you never know oh, okay. a band is going to work. Yeah. You you really don't. Um, because Hazen has changed so much in the past year, in the past two years, in the past three years, in the past four years, you know. Uh, yeah. You never know. You have to keep changing and adapting. Yeah. You never know, but it you never know unless you try. Yeah, exactly. So we, we don't know if it's going to work, you know. That's true. a lot of trial and error and stuff like that, but it feels, it feels good right now. Yeah. It's where it's just about getting out there and it making feels, it work. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And uh, we're, I, I love asking this question because, you know, like, you never know what you're going to get. Um, where does the band, where does the name Hazen come from? It's actually my last name. Really? Mm-hmm. Nice. The guys, when we were, the original lineup suggested it, and I was like, all right, cool. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Lead singer syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you guys sure? We don't have to. <laughs> she, no. She's gonna be honest. Hey, the first time. Hi guys, we're Hazen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys aren't gonna fucking believe this. So five. Nice. Exactly. You aren't gonna fucking believe this, but this band is called Hazen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and people still don't know the origin. It's straight yeah, up her no. last name. That's it. That's that's cool. I love that. <laughs> And now they do because, you know, if they listen to this podcast, the origin is here. Yeah, <laughs> right there. And uh, the criminal, the criminal single, the single criminal, uh, I feel like it was a little bit different from what you guys brought in uh, from the last few, like the last album and songs and stuff. Like, how did you guys adapt to change and stuff with the music change? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, we want to keep a hazen sound, but also be experimental, see what sticks, see what doesn't. Yeah. Um, and we just wanted to have fun with this song, you know? Yeah. Something that's empowering, but also fun. Like, if you watch the music video, it's just a bunch of people having fun. Yeah, yeah, I kind of noticed. Yeah. So I was like, man, if I was in a band, I want to be in their, in their <laughs> band. Dude, we like to fucking party. We like to party and we like to have fun. And we have, like, the most eclectic people in our lives yeah. too like we are friend group no two All people the look place. the same yeah, yeah. And it just and works they really made that music video come together and yeah. pinch yeah. for sure and, and i was kind of nervous when i was reaching out to you guys uh because i was like man i've never heard him and like i don't know where they're from or sure. how their vibe is and i emailed you guys to the email that was on the on the hazen music page yeah but i didn't get anything and i was just like you know what 
I'm gonna sit on it. I'm gonna wait. And then you had commented on one of my polls. Yeah. And I was like, interview. Let's do it, please. That's <laughs> the thing. Like people always like look at us like we're kind of like intimidating. You yeah. Know? But honestly, like we're always down to meet new people. We're always down to hang out with wh- whoever, and we're always down to talk to people, we're especially about stuff. Going. Yeah. That yeah. we're passionate about. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like this is sick. Yeah, and I I love the added the vibe that you guys are bringing right now, and I can't wait to. You know, see you guys perform because, you know, like as, you know, regular people, it's a different vibe. But when when you go on stage, it's like you become a monster and you're like, fuck with me, motherfucker. Yeah, definitely a high. Yeah, that was a good explanation for it, yeah. for sure. <laughs> and when will be, when we will, when, uh, when will be, damn it. Yeah, you're fine. When will be, when will we be hearing new music? Uh, I know Criminal had just recently come out, but is there anything else in the works? So, oh yeah yeah there's definitely some things in the works that's are gonna be our focus when we get home so soon and how long does this tour go for we're going out for a month for a so, month yeah it's a month right now and then once we get home that's it's time to get to work for a new record yeah oh yeah i can't wait for that because like you guys are new to me and i'm just like more paid. more yeah. yeah absolutely soon and uh what's your favorite song to play live me oh <laughs> uh i would probably say perfectly sick off of uh the last album the last ep or was that on Und- undone that was on undone right perfectly sick was yeah. yeah so that was from our freshman ep um yeah perfectly no, sick it's fun, it's, fun. it's head bangy it's yeah. jumpy it's groovy. yeah it's groovy it's groovy it's definitely one of my favorite it probably is my favorite song yeah. from the undone album for sure that's that's also a hard que- uh, question for me to answer because it's like different reasons why I like the yeah. song, to play yeah. the songs. Yeah, I, I love performing perfectly sick, but I'd, I'd say probably the storm or this house. Probably this house is my favorite. I just you know you hear a lot of your range there yeah. too. The the song goes slow and yeah. fast, or yeah, you want to break down or you want to cry whichever one you want to get into a mosh pit it's all in one song i love crying (laughs) Uh, me who doesn't yeah have you heard bad flower because they'll make you cry a lot one of my favorite bands this uh, is how the world ends is like one of the best albums ever yeah like when i'm really feeling it you know when i'm feeling kind of sad and moody and depressing like i'm just like i just want something that matches that vibe sometimes it's healing to listen to sad music you know and like get you know you it's something someone who relates to you even though they've never met you bad flower is like top three i scared I my therapist on. away because i showed her bad flower and then she resigned oh, <laughs> <don't be> <laughs> <laughs> she's like you're not fixable you're not fixable <laughs> get out <laughs> and uh i like i love uh, the black hole sun uh cover that you guys did um out of all the sound garden music uh what was that song that you know spoke to you guys for you know wanting to cover that song it's just such an impactful and powerful song and it just really meant a lot to all of us and we all love very much miss chris cornell yeah of course legend rest in peace absolutely but at the end of the day it's just a song in in an artist that meant a lot to us yeah yeah kind of shaped our childhood too like chris cornell and any project that he did oh yeah definitely right in the time when we were growing up so yeah of course him chester bennington yeah like yeah those guys it really impacted our life and our music career man i can't wait to ask you guys the last question because it's gonna be good (laughs) Uh, and uh what is what are y'all's plan for uh 2023 i think i can start this one go for it uh so we're hoping to have well at least i'm hoping the way things are working out right now nothing is definite but there will be a, a hazen album next year okay there will be a hazen tour next year and hopefully we'll be on a festival or two oh that'd be amazing yeah. yeah so that's what uh, we're really working hard right now this i mean this is this is work yeah, you yeah. Know, it's, it sounds fun, but it's yeah, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. It is fun. It is it fun. Is, yeah, a ton of work, but it's it's all worth it. It's not just fun. It, fun in games, oh, I guess, is sure. a better way yeah, to put yeah, it yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. It's not just all fun in games, but what do you think? I totally agree. That's the goal. Like, dream. Our dreams are to play festivals, big shows, get on tour with bigger bands, and 
you know, just keep growing. But yeah, definitely an album, definitely another tour, and hopefully a couple festivals or more. That's Putting it into the universe now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, louder than life if you're hearing this make it happen or what's yeah. the what's the one that uh, just happened uh i think it was the one in chicago oh uh, chicago open air no that oh. one's been gone for a oh, while yeah, yeah yeah they moved it That's i know true. what you're talking about i'm not gonna remember those is things. it riot fest oh riot F- I, I don't know see uh, this, this is the thing as like i tour all the time too so i'm like i don't know well if anybody's if anybody from the from the big ups are listening like invite them please yeah. <laughs> DWP Danny Wimmer presents. Our name is Hazen. We're from Phoenix, Arizona. Hit us up. There you <laughs> yes, go. Please. Not begging, but. But kind of. And uh, what's the biggest accomplishment right now that you guys have accomplished so far? I mean, in my opinion, there's quite a few. Um, just, you know, having the albums that we have now, I think this tour is a huge accomplish- accomplishment for us we've only been on like one tiny one before this so um it just started so but i, I definitely see it as a huge accomplishment and i think it's going to be amazing yeah and uh i mean i think we're now starting to find the people that work with us the best um we're starting to really get into the like brass tacks of what it means to be a in a national mm-hmm. yeah. and hopefully someday international touring band um you know just we we've, we've come strides just in the past couple months let alone the past years you know yeah so. we should go we should make you international and let's go play a show over there in mexico like we're literally like i know yeah. we're, we're literally like, we're literally like a few steps that way like we'll be in mexico so let's make you guys international yeah then we would be an international touring band you're not wrong, yeah. He's not wrong. <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah, that's true yeah we would be an international touring band <laughs> uh and uh what is one message to y'all's fans that you guys would like to you know put out right now just um i can't be more grateful for the support that we have and the continued support i hope our music speaks to you i hope it's fun for you but i hope that you also pick up on the messages that we share whether that's like struggling you're not alone um and i i'm just so grateful that we can connect via music yeah and keep going keep Keep going. going that's like the biggest thing with hazen hazel hazen equals keep going just any time i mean there's struggles everyone has them every single day but that does not make them smaller than someone else's or greater than someone else's everyone is dealing with it be kind to each other but keep going because we, we keep going for y'all so keep going for us back yeah yeah and uh right right now before i let you guys go uh if you guys were stuck in an elevator with any musician dead or alive who would it be and what would you talk about oh my Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. That's why I told you, like, when you guys were talking about Chris and and uh, Chester, I was like, man, I can't wait to see what they what they answer for this one. Holy shit. There's so many, like, any generation, yeah. too. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Oh, man. Uh, for me, it would be Stevie Ray Vaughan because I love that guy. Oh, I love Stevie oh, Ray Vaughan. She's my pride and joy. Yes. Yeah, I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. The first person who freaking comes to my head is Lady Gaga. Oh. I know that's like totally different genre, but I feel like she's so much knowledge to share. Hey, I feel like Maria is the Lady Gaga of rock that's and roll. That's what Absolutely. I always say. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Wouldn't it be amazing if they did a song together? I would cry. <laughs> I think I would probably want to sit down with Joan Jett, if I'm yeah. being completely honest. That that shaped me as a, a little girl, and it shaped me as a musician, and it shaped me into the woman that I am today. I don't take shit from anybody. And I'm kind of punk rock about it. Yeah. And uh, I go out there and, you know. But I, she still also has, like, so much knowledge that she could probably exactly. sit down and be like, okay, it's not all punk rock, you know? Yeah. So no, exactly. I would probably say, man, just off the top. I don't know if that's my final answer, but I'm sticking <laughs> with it. Yeah. <laughs> probably Joan Jett. She shaped yeah. me. Yeah. Gaga or, or Brink? Yeah, that'd be amazing. Gaga or Brink probably just because we're in the same-ish genre. Yeah. Like, you know the industry, the specific At industry. At this moment. Better. Yeah. In, In this, this moment. moment. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me and Gaga actually share a birthday, March 28th. I'm oh. March 29th. Oh, really? Oh, Holy smokes. 
All right. Did we just Sorry. become best friends? Yeah. Best friends. All these fire signs. I know. <laughs> no wonder we click so, so good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Look, a guy who loves astrological signs. <laughs> He's a king, guys. He's a king. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm also single. What's up, ladies? Oh, <laughs> hey! hey. Uh, but uh, I want to thank you guys so much. And uh, where can we find you guys? Uh, you know, social media wise. We're streaming across all streaming platforms. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, soon to be TikTok. Hopefully we're going to start making some really sick videos for yeah. you guys out here on the Absolutely. road. But pretty much everywhere. If yeah. you have the internet, you'll have us. Hell yeah. Follow them. Also follow me, you know. Yes. Linktree. It's on my Linktree on my Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to thank y'all for for giving me the opportunity to you know talk to y'all and uh, and thank y'all for listening and remember everybody that without music life would be a mistake.